relationship between the nearest neighboring distance d between the the distance d edge length of unit cell a and radius of lattice point that is r okay so we will see the relationship between d a and r is that clear so but the first we will see the relationship for the simple cubic structure is that clear so first let us know what is d what is r and what is a okay but if i show you this by a diagram how can i show you this just see this okay if these two are my constituent particles clear these two constituent particles are present at the corner so but what is this this a is the edge length yes or no this is the edge length of the unit cell edge length if this is my particle then this is my r that is radius of the lattice point is it clear what is this this is my radius of lattice point next thing that we need to understand what is d but a d is the interionic distance that is the distance between the two centers of the particle nearest particles is this clear so what can i say what is this d that equals to 2r this is interionic distance am i clear to you everyone yes am i clear to you okay now let us see the relationship first for the simple cubic structure or for the primitive unit cell clear for simple cubic okay in primitive unit cell or simple cubic i know one thing where my constituent particles are present can anyone tell me yes everyone where are my constituent particles located very very good shakti beta you can note it down after the class yes yeah, shakti would that be fine very good everyone the particles are present at the corners okay so if i show this my diagram then what can i say just say this let me make a diagram this is my diagram and these red ones are my particles so one particle is present here at this corner another is particle present at this corner is this clear so i have my two particles present at point a and b clear so what can i say this is my point a this is my point b clear so beta what can i say this ab is equals to a that is my edge length can i say this thing yes ab is equals to a that is my edge length okay this a is equals to 2r i can see it yes or no this a is equals to 1r and 2r because the radius of two particles is being included so a equals to 2r or what can i say r is equals to a by 2 and i know one thing that interionic distance d is equals to 2r yes or no d is equals to 2r so what can i say d is equals to a is equals to 2r in case of simple cubic yes can i say this thing 
yes everyone can i say this thing that d is equals to a is equals to 2r for simple cubic very very good now let us proceed next with the fcc now i know one thing in my fcc type of unit cell the particles are present at corners as well as at the face center yes do you all agree with this particles are present at the corners as well as at the face centers okay now let us see the for the fcc for fcc okay if i draw my unit cell let us suppose this is my unit cell is it clear and these are my points at where the particles are present so here is my first particle at the corner 1 at this 2 and this is present at this face center 3 can you all imagine yes 1 2 and 3 these three particles are present two at corners one at face center this is this one is the fcc okay now if i imagine their centers like this this and this so what can i say this is my r this is my r this is my r and again this is my r can i say this thing yes everyone can i say this thing okay beta this point let us suppose is a and this is c and let us say this point is b what can i say what is my ab yes can anyone tell me what is ab a that is my edge length very very good okay what is bc yes edge length again a so what can i simply say and this angle would be 90 degree in the case of q am this sure yes in the case of cubic unit cell i can simply say this angle is 90 degree so what can i say beta in my triangle abc abc is a right angle triangle do you all agree on this yes everyone do you all agree on this very good so what can i say ab square plus bc square is equals to ac square yes or no ab square plus bc square equals to ac square okay what is my ab length it's a what's my bc length it's a then what would be the value of ac this is 2a square equals to ac square means ac equals to root 2a can i say this thing yes what did i get ac equals to root 2a now just see in the diagram what is ac exactly equals to in terms of r yes what is the value of ac 4r very very good from diagram ac equals to 4r so beta if i equate these two equations clear if i equate the values of ac what will i get 4r equals to root 2a then a is equals to sorry then r would be equals to root 2a by 4 or r is equals to a by 2 root 2 can i say this thing r is equals to a by 2 root 2 very good then what will be the value of d yes what is the value of d can anyone tell me what is the value of d a by root 2 very very good i know no problem shelly see what can i say d is equals to 2 r so this gives a by root 2 am i clear to you yes everyone is it clear so any problem for the simple cubic or face centered cubic shall we better we started with the relationship between d r and a 
Is that clear? With D, R, and A. Good evening, Shiro. Yes, beta. Obviously, na see. What did I say? D is my interionic distance. Is that clear? D is my in. No problem, Richard. No problem. Okay. Sure, Swastika. Sure. Just don't panic. Okay. I will repeat. Clear, everyone. So, what did I say? That this is my interionic distance. Interionic distance means we distance between the two centers. Yes or no, Gautam? Do you agree on this? Interionic distance means the distance between the two centers that obviously would be two R. Is that clear? No problem, Dhanush. No problem. Clear, everyone? Okay. So, beta, whosoever are logging. Right now, please let me continue with. Okay, first understand this, then I'll re revise all. Clear? Then I'll repeat everything. Fine, everyone. First, go with this. Clear, everyone? Okay. Now, let us see. Okay, Jessica. Okay, shall we proceed now? Okay, now let us see with the BCC. Okay, what does BCC means? The particles are present at body center and at corner. Yes or no? Do you all agree on this? Particles are present at body center and at corner. Okay, if I see diagram for this, what will I get? Okay, if this is my, okay, one particle is present at my body center. So, this is my centered particle, clear? This particle, let me make a bigger one. Okay, then let us see the particles which are present at the corners. Just imagine these all particles are equal. Is it clear? In my diagram, they might not seem equal, but they are equal. Is that clear, everyone? They all have a radius of R. Fine. So what can I say here? If this point is A, this point is B, and this point is C. Clear? A, B, C. Fine. Now, how can I join my A, B, and C? Simply like this. Yes or no? By my face diagram. Can I join it like this? Very good. Or simply I can join the line AC. Yes. Now you must be seeing one triangle A, B and C. Yes. Can you see it? A, B, C. Can you see this triangle? Okay. Now just tell me, beta, what this point, I am marking some points yellow. This, 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 and this. Okay. But the distance between all the yellow points are R. Can I say this thing? Because the radius of one particle is R. Yes. You all agree with this? Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the value of AC from the diagram? What is the value of AC from the diagram? 4R. Very, very good. So, AC equals to 4R. One thing I have got. Clear? Okay. Now, 60 bit I started. Fine, fine, fine. Well, it started at 540 because of some technical issue. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now, let us see the triangle A, B and C. No problem, Nandika. In triangle A, B and C. Okay. But in triangle A, B and C, what can I see? My angle A, B, C is 90 degree. Yes or no? So, what can I say? A, B square plus B, C square equals to A, C square. 
Can I say this thing? Yes. Can I say this thing? Very good. Can you all tell me what is the value? No problem, Gayatri. Beta, I will repeat it. Okay. Please let me continue with this. I will repeat it. Okay. No problem. No problem, beta. Gita, it's our third page to say. Good evening, Rohini. Sure, Jessica, I will repeat. Okay? I will repeat. Why? Now, shall I proceed, please? Subha Lakshmi, this is our third page, beta. Should I continue now, please? Okay? Okay. Now, beta, now just see, if I mark this point D, then BD is equals to A, CD is equals to A, then BC equals to root 2A. I have already calculated this. Yes or no? BC is equals to root 2A. I have calculated it here. Yes or no? My face center. Very, very good. So what can I say here? My AB is equals to A. This is edge length. No problem, beta. No problem. I know there was some technical issue. Hello. Seems I have to repeat the whole lecture. Sure, Aisha, I will say. What are we doing now? We are studying the relationships. Asha Shri class started at 5.40 beta. It started. Yes, Mayuri, I will give. If you can wait. I'll give the whole recap for sure. I know there was some technical issue. No problem, Shruti. I know, Vita, there was some. Shruti, I will repeat. Okay. I will repeat. Just wait. Let me complete this. I'll repeat the whole topic. No, Varun, we will start. We will start with the packing efficiency. Okay. Okay. First, listen to me. Then I'll listen to you all. Okay. Sure, Akash, I will give. Okay. But what is the value of BC? This is root 2A. This is my face tightness. Then I can put the values A square plus root 2A square equals to AC square. Or what can I say? A square plus 2A square equals to AC square. Then AC square equals to 3A square. Then AC equals to root 3A. Can I say this thing? 